All right, babe, how you feeling? Today's surgery day. I know, I'm literally so excited. I'm just painting on my eyebrows <laughs> because I wanna look as put together as humanly possible. And this is probably my only way I'm gonna do that because I'm gonna look freaking wrecked when I come out of surgery. You anxious? Honestly, I'm like, I actually feel pretty calm. Like I feel pretty good. The only thing that's scary is just that I literally don't know what they're gonna look like. Like that's terrifying to me, <laughs> but you know, I'm sure that I'm gonna be so happy. So I'm excited. And we trust the surgeon. That's why we chose him. Yeah. He's a beast. Exactly. So I'm feeling pretty freaking good. I feel like I'm like a little, are we late? Yeah, Maybe. you're a little behind. I just need to pick an outfit to wear. I think I'm gonna wear my cozy earth pajamas. <laughs> I'm like, do people wear pajamas? I think they do. If um, we walk out of here now, we can get Dutch Bros, so. I can't get coffee before oh. I <laughs> I'm not Good allowed point. to drink or eat, and I actually haven't been super hungry this morning, thank heavens. Wait, for how long have you not drank or ate? I didn't even know that. Well, I was technically not supposed to eat or drink past midnight, but I had my last snack at 1 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure it's fine. You devious. I know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, today is surgery day. I am so, so excited. I haven't eaten or drank anything since last night at like one in the morning. I wasn't supposed to have anything after midnight, but I am starving and so excited. I have like nerves, excitement, just like everything. Hunter was asking me this morning if I'm nervous. And I'm like, you know, the only thing that I'm really nervous about is that I have like no idea what they're gonna look like because how would I know that until I'm post-surgery? So that's the only scary thing, but I am so freaking excited. This day has been long awaited and I just seriously can't wait. So I am going to be having Hunter vlog the entire experience for you guys. So we'll see how well he does with getting footage. I've tried to like train him on exactly what to do. So we're really putting him to the test today. But how the day is going to go is our grandpa, Harv, Hunter's dad. He is here watching the kids while Hunter takes me up to the surgeon's office. And then I will be there for about four hours after like surgery, recovery, etc. So Hunter's going to come home because we live about 35 minutes away from the office. So he's actually gonna come home in between and be with the kids. Then they'll call him when I start to wake up after surgery, let him know how everything went. And then as he drives back up, I'll still be like waking up in the operating room. So then he will come and pick me up and bring me home. And Hunter is just gonna be taking on the kids. He's also going to be helping me. As you guys saw in my last vlog, I got like everything I could possibly think of set up and ready to go for today. So I'm sure it'll be after surgery when I can't do anything when I realize I forgot a bunch of things, but hopefully everything will go smoothly, but I'm so stinking excited. I also wanna show you guys like what I'm wearing. So I am wearing this cute little cozy earth set. It's just like a little button up soft pajama set and it also has cute little matching pants, which I love. This is seriously like the coziest thing I've ever worn in my life. So as you guys saw, I have like a few outfits that I can wear that are button ups. I think they're going to provide me with a bra because I'm like, I hope my current bra doesn't fit <laughs> after I come out of surgery, but we'll see. So I'm just like oh, anxiously waiting. We need to leave in like 10 minutes. Oh, I just, I can't believe it. The one thing I'm nervous about is not being able to pick up Blakely because she asks to be picked up constantly, but I'm already in the habit of like sitting down on the floor and like letting her run up to me and give me a hug and play. And I really will be able to do that like one week post-op. Like I think it'll be totally fine. I also think that I'm preparing for the worst and I'm hoping that my recovery goes smoother than I expect. So. Let's go ahead and head up there. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, a quick outfit check for you guys because how stinking cute is this matching set? It's so flipping cozy. I also curled my hair so that I don't feel like a total bum for the first week. And then I drew on my eyebrows. So hopefully I'll feel a tiny bit put together coming out of surgery, but it's definitely not likely. <laughs>
It's such a vibe. It's beautiful. Wait. Did you guys made slippers? <laughs> you did, yes. In the parking lot. I forgot the slippers. Okay, so they're gonna have me change from the waist up. I actually get to wear my pants during surgery, which is nice. And I'm going to fight to keep my contacts in, but I'll have to ask the anesthesiologist, but I'm so freaking excited. Let's try to add up how many times I say that today. <laughs> Hunter, turn the camera off. Oh, sorry. Stop. Stop what? Stop filming. Are you sure? We're in between a rock and a hard place because I keep ending the recordings early and she told me to not do that anymore. She said you need to work on not cutting the clips and cutting me off and so... I'm freaking hangry, you guys. Here's where we are. I'm so hungry. This is the three hour clip. And I can't believe that Hunter's forcing me to get this done. Oh my gosh, I am not. <laughs> you guys are just kidding. Hunter couldn't care less. I can't believe you just said that. If you leave that in, I'll flip. <laughs> Troll him in the comments, you guys. No, I'm just kidding. Oh he's my. So nice to him because when this goes up, he's going to be taking care of me and our children for probably like a week or so. So, I think it is. Am I clear to end the clip? Hunter, you may stop recording. <laughs> All right, guys, just keeping you updated as I get updated. I just got a call from the surgeon and he said everything went great and that there were some pretty drastic like changes he was able to make and that he thought Rachel was going to be super happy and he got really good symmetry. I don't know if I'm being like too specific or not specific enough. Um, but anyways, I'm going to pick her up. I'm glad it went well and that she's like alive and healthy. Um, so I'll go pick her up. We'll see how loopy she is and if we can get her saying some funny things on camera. So I'm headed to pick her up now and then it's probably just gonna be like a week or two of Rachel Delirium. So I'll film as much of it as I can. Hopefully I can like just keep a camera recording for like the ridiculous things she says because I remember when she came off uh, after her C-section, she said some pretty funny things. So hopefully it's kind of a situation like that um, and we can have some fun, but uh, I'm glad that she's like healthy and alive and okay. And um, again, he said he, he really thinks she's gonna be super happy. And I apologize in advance, I've got like just some allergies, so I sound congested and stuff. So I'll try and not talk much. <laughs> All right, made it here, I'm about to walk in. I just remembered that Rachel asked me to bring her a built bar. Um, it's empty, I ate it. So, she asked me to bring her a belt bar and Quest chips, but I forgot to grab them. Obviously, I grabbed that for myself and ate it. And like halfway here, I realized she doesn't have food. So hopefully, sounds terrible, but hopefully she's feeling nauseated and doesn't ask for food. Otherwise, I guess I can just like take her to any restaurant nearby, but I feel terrible for forgetting her food. However, I do have water for her. Um, I just drank more than half of it. So, world's worst husband award, right off the bat, goes to me. Um, I guess, hopefully she's not hungry quite yet, coming right out of surgery. Otherwise, I'll feel terrible. But we'll see how she's doing. Uh, if they don't let me film, I apologize. We'll still get some funny verbiage from her whenever we get back in the car. But, um, just kind of keeping you guys posted. Hi guys. How are you feeling, babe? I just got out of surgery. Can you do caravan on camera for a sec? <laughs> this is my perfect nurse who's taking such good care of me. <laughs> She's really so sweet, you guys. I woke up, she was like drink, giving me water to drink. Oh. And my surgeon and anesthesiologist came in to check on me. And I have to say, you guys, just like night and day difference from my first surgery. I obviously am still pretty out of it, but I'm feeling zero to one on the pain scale. Like, I feel phenomenal. So great. I can't believe you're so coherent. I thought you'd say something silly. That's I why, so that's why I had the I, camera ready. I know, we might have to make some stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel really phenomenal. And the anesthesiologist, I told him that I throw up like a lot post anesthesia and zero nausea. Nausea, so I'm wow. so, so impressed. That's amazing. And right off the bat, before I forget, because I'm having short term memory loss, I'd ask Kim like 500 of the same questions. But they ended up with my breasts are two different sizes. And when they got in there, it looked like I actually had two different sized implants. Is that correct? Yes. Yep. From my first surgery. 
So my left side, they put in 285cc, and my right side, they put in 225cc, so that it looks symmetrical and great, and I actually get to see them tomorrow, so I'm so excited. Perfect. We will keep you guys posted, and we'll show them to you tomorrow. Just kidding. <laughs> All right guys, we just got in the car and I literally cannot wait to tell this story. So, Rachel introduces me to her nurse, whose name is Kim. Um, I think I hold got on. it on camera. Oh yeah, I was like, where she was like, hey, Kim. show Kim. So sweet, she's sitting there, she's like, you need to leave a Google review, like a five star Google review, because I love this staff so much. Typical Rachel, just you know, rainbows and butterflies, so positive. Um, I'm not driving by the way, I'm just moving my car, uh, two feet. So, um, anyways, we're in the, Elevator Rachel's like if I ever come back here for like another surgery or for, you know my Post-op checkup or whatever. I'm gonna say how grateful I am for Kim and she leans over. She's like that's so great That's perfect. You're so sweet. Just so you know though. My name is Tiffany. <laughs> I Have never you I can't guys. even tell you guys. I have never <laughs> been happier I could not stop laughing and Rachel goes Oh, and like realizes oh that it, gosh, whenever she woke so up bad. from anesthesia last time in her last surgery from her C-section, her nurse at her bedside, Kim was my nurse. her name was Kim. But oh, you know what? that's too funny. She was so sweet, and she was like, she was seriously so sweet. She was yeah, like, do she, not oh, apologize, yeah, call so me sweet. whatever you want. But she was like, the funny thing is though, is you were calling me Tiffany right when you woke up. Like, I called her Tiffany half And then the like transitioned to Kim. Oh, that's too good. Anyway, she hasn't really said anything else, Loopy. She actually seems like I'm super I'm, with it. Yeah, I'm pretty with it. And not sick. And yeah. I mean, I'm like one step away from falling asleep, but we'll go find her some food because, like I told you guys this already, I forgot to get yeah. her some, but she was really sweet oh, about it. This has been amazing, you guys. My pain right now is, I like dare I say, like zero out of ten. I know that will change and I'll have to stay on top of my pain meds. But when I woke up from my last breast augmentation, I mean, I was like delusional. Like, I didn't really know where I was. They like tried to sit me up now that I'm remembering. And then, like, I laid back down because I was like dying. dying. Yeah. And they just had me in like this warm, cozy blanket. Hunter came in. Yeah, I like, took, hey, I have a little video of it. Um, and it's super, like, when I touched it, it was really warm. It was cool. It's like a bubble wrap. But yeah. it was like heated. Um, yeah, it's amazing, beautiful office, amazing staff. We can't say enough good about them. So, super positive experience so far. So we'll see when we get home. Um, Sorry, I'm a little <laughs> sleepy, guys. I'm right. just resting. My Let's get moving. Let's go get you some food. So honestly, guys, I thought that I would be like incapable of everything. I'm like putting on my seatbelt by myself. I was able to get in the car on my own. I mean, with like a little bit of help, but. I'm not gonna overdo it by any means, but I feel like 100 times better than I did with That's my amazing. first surgery. So I'm lifting chest tomorrow. Maybe and she'll could, help. Maybe you can help me. But, yeah, you know, so I'll be me. in the gym tomorrow. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, let's go get some food. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm feeling like a tiny bit out of it, but like mentally pretty good. Like I thought I'd be delusional. And I'm literally holding up the camera on my own right now. Is that not like crazy? This has just been night and day difference from my first surgery. And I know that I'm only like an hour into this. So I'll obviously keep you guys updated because of course I'm on pain medication right now. But um, they put a little nausea like sticker on the back of my ear. Sorry, I like feel the intense need to rest my eyes. <laughs> That's so funny. It's like hard to keep my eyes open. But um, they put that on me and one of the side effects is like severe dry mouth. So my cute little hunter is in a gas station getting me a big water right now. And then we're gonna head home. I'm gonna just like crawl into bed, turn on some Netflix, get something to eat because I haven't eaten yet today. And it's 5.30. And then I'm excited to see the little kiddos because I feel like I'm actually gonna be able to let Blakely give me like a little hug and just obviously Hunter will help her be gentle, but I think that things are really looking good, guys. You got my water. Oh, guys, this guy is so sweet. Ah, oh, so much better already. <laughs> oh 
Look at Beckham coming over to help. Sounds good. Love you, man. All right. You know, we can do a good brush. Good job. But this not helping. This not helping. Oh, I know, I know. You're just sucking the toothpaste off. We're gonna actually brush this really white. Good job. Good job. <laughs> good job. Okay. Let's see how this. You want to do your toothbrush too? Okay. Let me get the other tooth. Okay, guys. I don't know if I'm like being dramatic or just like high on drugs, but honestly, I feel like amazing. The fact that I'm holding my camera up right now, I'm hoping that I don't like overexert myself tonight and then feel it in the morning. But I just wanted to show you guys like as much as I can, but look at how high up they are. I just, I feel long, which I absolutely love because you guys know I'm like super, super short. And so feeling long and just like lighter is the best feeling in the entire world. Hunter is literally being the best dad ever. He came in and got me some oatmeal. So I've just been enjoying some oatmeal in bed. I got up to use the restroom, which was totally easy and fine on my own. And I am just gonna jump back in bed, which I can actually get myself in and out of bed on my own. I don't even know like what's going on. And it might be because of the painkiller. So I'm still gonna like relax, take it so, so easy. And Blakely has already been totally loving when I just sit on the floor and let her come up to me. And she's like being so gentle and it makes me feel like this is going to be so much more doable when it comes to recovery. So I am as happy as I could possibly be right now, guys. All right, babe, let's check in. Night number one, how are you feeling? How are you doing? super easy, but I'm not gonna lie, I did like the tiniest little peak. I can't take my bra off or anything, but from what I can see and what I can tell and just like how I feel, I am so, so happy. And my surgeon is so sweet, you guys. He even called me here at home. I missed his call because I was napping, but then he texted me, asked how I was doing. Just like, that's so sweet, right? Um, but I'm just gonna try to get like a little bit more food in me. I'm not feeling nauseated at all Which is one of the things I'm the most impressed by because with my c-sections guys I threw up like 30 plus times that day like we hit the 12 hour mark with my c-section We were like, okay, we've got to get this girl some food and like have her keep it down so I could take pain medicine Oh, See I'm a little out of breath a little like wait. yeah but it's not like the intense pressure. Oh, I'm so freaking happy that I get to see them tomorrow, which I'm so excited. So I'll keep you updated. No visuals though. And I'm just gonna get some snacks and Hunter is sweet enough. Now that the kids are in bed and totally safe, he is going to run to Walmart to get a gentle laxative for me just to like try and keep my gut healthy while I'm on pain medication but I'm feeling like so good. So I'm gonna end this surgery vlog here and then the next vlog that you guys see is I'm just gonna be doing updates for you. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> and don't, I hope you can hear me, okay? Cause I feel like I'm talking quiet. But don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.